um, after I had my twins, I waited um, three years and I said, I'm ready to, I took out the family planning. Even before taking it out, I prayed. I started eating healthy, took out family planning, prayed, you know, named my child, prayed, mm -hmm. and then I got pregnant. So I felt like divine. Yes. And as I got pregnant, all the symptoms, I was vomiting, which is my usual. I could not eat. I was so frail. Perfect. We'll soon get over it in first trimester. So I went for um, scan at 12 weeks or thereabouts. And they said, oh, um, this is there's a sack, but there's no baby. Mm. And I was like, no. I removed the family planning. I prayed. I have been eating healthy. I have symptoms. He said it's called blighted ovum, that they would advise I do evacuation. I took the report. I said, this is not my report. This is not the report. You know when they say in church, which, whose report well, would you, you believe? believe? I will believe the, the report, report of the Lord. Lord. So, and, and we have a pregnancy fellowship in my church. I went to fellowship, and there are several testimonies of fellowship. So I prayed, and I was, not, I was still having symptoms. I said, let me go and do a stronger prayer. So I went to MFM. Book the room, sat down in the room and prayed, you know, quoted all the scriptures quotable. Right inside the premises of MFM, I started spotting. Because I was still thinking, at least I'm not seeing blood, so the pregnancy is there. My dear sisters and the sisters in the Lord, I, I spotted all the way home, went to the hospital and had the evacuation done. And a few months after, I got pregnant again and had my, my, no, my son, my baby, son, yeah. okay. So. I, I realized that sometimes, and at a point in that praying and all of that, and I saw blood, I just had to tell God, like, see, you are still God. If this mm. blood devil comes, if I see the blood, it's still, you will still remain God in the situation, and I would just go to the hospital because I started feeling serious stomach cramps. But I, I allowed faith to, I was using faith and all of that. And so, somebody would say, I did not have enough faith. You know, I've shared the story somewhere. Somebody was like, your faith was not strong enough. If your faith was strong enough, you would have been able to overcome. And you start, you, people will start victim shaming the person who is going through a challenging health situation. It is extremely bad for someone to, for God to have given us the intelligence mm. to produce technology, produce medical interventions, and we would not take advantage of it, and we lose lives because we are forming, I am trusting God. God has given us technology. I would say, take advantage.